good morning everyone so now this is our third lecture in a row regarding the samadhan pt tricks 2023 batch the purpose of this youtube classes are to help all the needy and the serious students that they are doing the revision according to the theme based wise current affairs as well as theoretical subjects like environment science and tech economics even some other part of the governance we are also taking the classes of pre mapping module as far as the master of mapping module we invented this batch in 2010 until 2010 till now so many people are qualifying through this examination by attending our mapping module and mapping is a very fabulous batch in which we are relating so many things together join it free it is for everyone taki aapki hum madad kar sake so today is a third class and in the third class we are now doing the biodiversity part 2 till yesterday we learned good amount of biodiversity like indian skimmer that is a bird even that is a disease yellow band disease of the coral reefs so aaj hum padhenge some new format of the biodiversity so if you heard in 1992 the four convention took place agenda 21 it is regarding sustainable development isi ke baad millennium development goals sustainable development goals ye sab aaye then cbd convention for biological diversity for conservation of diversity then ccd convention for combating desertification as desertification is one of the major reason behind the agriculture productivity and food scarcity and it is a most serious problem even more intense than climate change but somehow we ignored it इसी के लिए बॉन्ड कन्वेंशन भी आया है इसी के लिए लैंडस्केप अप्रोच भी आया है एंड गवर्नमेंट इज नाउ वर्किंग ऑन दिल्ली डिक्लेरेशन विच टॉक्स अबाउट दैन कैन कंजर्व कंसिडरेबल अमाउंट ऑफ लैंड और सबसे में आखिर में आता है आपका यू एन एफ सी 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 यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज नाउ सी बी डी इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग देयर ओन सी ओ पी कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज तो ये अपना खुद का सी ओ पी ऑर्गेनाइज करता है and the last cop that is cop 15 was held in canada where iucn updated their list regarding the animals so they are providing their new list where they updated their own list of animals in a good manner so inhone apne khud ke animal ke list jari ki hai here they are providing the first animal in the form of dugong upsc favorite animal so if you really want to know about the dugong you should understand it mainly through the map now this is a indian ocean region now within this indian ocean region northern part of australia mere sath sath bolte jana aur yaad karte jana life is all about good karma the best thing in this life is do your karm don't think about past and the future don't have any jealousy any type of competition revenge with anyone don't blame anyone for your failures or certain type of bad things in your life just have some good smile don't compete with anyone except yourself increase your power increase your gravities charge yourself and never make your mind blank because if you are making your mind blank somehow the invalid thoughts are coming in your that is a brain aur kisi bhi tarakki se mat jalo if anybody is progressive appreciate it jo nahi hai usko thoda aage badhane ki koshish karo arya samaj bol ke gaya tha if you develop others you develop yourself so duniya mein hamara sabse bada target do hi hai peace as well as be a good human being सबसे डिफिकल्ट टास्क है सबसे अच्छा इंसान बनना और एक अच्छा इंसान बनता है पीस से और पीस कैसे मिलती है नॉलेज से तो ट्राई टू अचीव नॉलेज एंड देन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दिस इज अ रियल रहस्य ऑफ लाइफ आप सब भी समझोगे है ना अगर समझते हो तो जरूर रिप्लाई में डालना तो दिस इज अल दैट इज द 
First, that is the habitat of the dugong, that is north of Australia. Then whole Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. This area is the habitat of dugong. Then our Sri Lanka as well as Andaman and Nicobar. Then Arabian Sea, till Gujarat. Then the area of Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. And this area of Tanzania, Kenya and Madagascar. These all are the habitat of the overall dugong. So if you see this thing, it is in Bay of Bengal or Arabian Sea. So we are having majority of the population Arabian Sea. In Bay of Bengal only, only that is Andaman and Nicobar. Then their habitat is from Australia, Polynesia, Melanesia, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, Philippines, till Tanzania, Kenya and Persian and Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Dugong is a mammal. Pani mein rehne wala mammal, that's why it is known as sea cow. So dugong ko hum kya bolte hai? Sea cow. Iska jo overall status hai, it is vulnerable. Grassland ko ye rehta hai, that means they are eating the grasses or the sea grasses or sea plants within the overall seaweed within the ocean. And dugong is highly important for the ecosystem within the Indian Ocean region till Australia, that is also in some of the part of the Pacific Ocean. So, ये पहला जानवर रिलीज किया under the IOC and the remaining list. We are now sharing you the third important handout of the Aspire Samadhan Pediatrics, and it is very easy to find out. Just log into aspireis.com and then go to the current affairs. Within the current affairs, the newspaper analysis program, and here is a Samadhan that is the overall uh, that is a material. So, I am showing on the screen newspaper analysis notes, and here is a Samadhan. Here is a link of the free mapping module. If you want to join, join it. And if you like it, recommend to your needy friend. And I really want that you should not waste your time. Money you will earn, but time how you will earn. So now this is a very important part of the PT tricks, which we are provided in a very comprehensive manner. So let's begin. So if you are watching the screen, the first animal in this screen is Dugong. So, you can see the first animal in Dugong. Dugong population in East Asia and New Caledonia have entered in IUCN Red List, critically endangered. So, in our area, in our area, it is vulnerable. But in East Africa and Caledonia, it is entered into critically endangered and endangered. So, East Africa means Kenya, Tanzania. Madagascar is critically endangered. Ho gaya. This is a pretty important part. The species remain vulnerable globally. Threats include unintentional capture of fishing gear in East Africa and poaching in the New Caledonia. And boat injured and destruction of the seagrass habitat. Because what is the seagrass? Dugong is also known as sea cow. They are the only herbivore marine mammal. Word kya hai? Only. This is a pity trick. Samadhan pity trick. We will tell you pity tricks. Batayenge. Where to use only, where not to use only. So here you should remember it is the only herbivore, marine mammal and feed on seagrass. The only member of the order Therina found in India. They live in group and come to the surface to breathe. So they come up and they are distinct dolphin like tail and have mammary glands. So they have mammary glands and they are also having the tail. Similar to that is a, uh, that is a, uh, this thing, a dolphin. Habitat already me bata chuka India and the Western Pacific. So they are living in the Western Pacific, Papua New Guinea, Polynesia, Melanesia, Gulf of Mandar, Parkway, Gulf of Kutch, Andaman Nicobar. Listed under the Species Recovery Program of India, State Animal of Andaman Nicobar. Ye bhi yaad rakhna. They are the State Animal of Andaman Nicobar. Tamil Nadu government announced India first conservation reserve of dugong at Parkway. Ye Hindu me aaya tha. So recently Tamil Nadu government is working on two animals. One is slender loris. So they are making slender loris conservation area in Tamil Nadu and second is dugong at the Park Bay. Now here is a diagram of the dugong. If you see that is overall Australia to Papua New Guinea to different type of areas still Philippines as well as Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka, then Gujarat, then Gulf, Persian Gulf and the Red Sea and then Tanzania, Madagascar and the East Africa coast. And here only they are known as critically endangered. So I hope you people liked it. If you like it, then please share the button with other people as well as like the video if you really liked it. And subscribe so that you can learn from
एंजॉय कर सको एवरी इवनिंग वी आर अपलोडिंग दिस क्लासेज अराउंड सेवन ओ क्लॉक क्लियर नाउ सेकेंड इज पिलर कोरल तो अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज आ पिलर कोरल कल हमने पढ़ा था इन द लास्ट लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग द येलो बैंड डिजीज पिलर कोरल फॉर्ड थ्रू आउट दाउंड थ्रू आउट द कैरेबियन फ्रॉम द यूकाटन पेनेसुला टू फ्लोरिडा और टिनाट टोबेगो हैज मूव फ्रॉम वनरेबल टू क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड तो ये भी हमें याद रखना है पिलर कोलर आर कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम वनरेबल टू क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड and they are mainly that is a loss due to stony coral tissue as well as bleaching then abalone 44% of abalone shellfish so abalone is a shellfish they are also entered into iucn threatened with listed threatened with extinction so threatened hai aur khatam hone wali hai poaching threatened endangered paralamon abalone of south africa to south africa milta hai marine heat waves has exacerbated Abalone disease worldwide affecting the critically endangered black abalone in California and Mexico and the vulnerable great armor found the English Channel to north east west Africa and Mediterranean. Then another animal is white cheek dancing frog. Maximum frog Bharat me critically endangered endangered Western Ghats me milte hain. So its status is endangered only known for a small range with an extent. of occurrence of 167 square kilometer in the western ghat of karnataka biodiversity hotspot kal hum logo ne kiya tha aapka nilgiri biosphere reserve <coughs> nila kurunji kiya tha hum logo ne in a very good manner so we also learn about the nila kurunji and uh, why not wildlife sanctuary if you remember फिर इसके बाद अंडमान स्मूथ हाउंड शार्क वनरेबल है शार्क अंडमान लग गया तो दे आर अलवेज अवेलेबल इन द अंडमान सी इन द ईस्टर्न इंडियन ओशन देन येलो हिमालयन दैट इज अ फेरी टेल री वनरेबल है तो दिस अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट प्लांट मोस्टली फाउंड इन हिमालय नाम क्या येलो हिमालयन पर्टी लैरी पर्टी लैरी स्पीशीज इज थ्रेटेड ड्यू टू ऑर्गेनाइज हार्वेस्ट ओवर एक्सट्रेक्शन एंड प्री मेच्योर हार्वेस्ट ऑफ बल्ब they are having medicinal use in there's a uh, anti asthmatic anti rheumatic febrifuge and uh, hemostatic and other type of diseases all these things are coming from cop biodiversity conference in canada jo maine aapko bhi thodi der pehle bataya now a new bird in arunachal pradesh by the name of green babbler so what is the name of the bird green w r e n green babbler bird watcher have discovered a new songbird in arunachal pradesh which they have named lisu so varian babbler ka unhone naam rakha hai lisu ye bhi hindu mein aaya tha so we are taking maximum information in the last one and a half year regarding the hindu upsc is providing the coverage of 2 years and we are trying that we can also give the coverage of 2 years in this batch bird has a visil that is a whitish belly and song we are similar to the naga wren bap इसका ग्रे बिल्ड वैन बैबलर देर आर सो मेनी अदर बर्ड साउथ एशिया में मिलती है देन ओल्डेस्ट नोन डीएनए डीएनए ओल्डेस्ट नोन फॉसिल में मिलेगा परमा फ्रॉस्ट एंड पोलर रीजन में मिलेगा वे आर सम एनिमल्स आर स्टिल देयर इन दैट मोड इन परमा फ्रॉस्ट एट द नदर्न एज ऑफ ग्रीनलैंड ग्रीनलैंड इज द पॉलिटिकल टेरिटरी ऑफ डेनमार्क साइंटिस्ट डिस्कवर्ड ओल्डेस्ट नॉन फ्रेगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए DNA dates back at least 2 million years nearly twice as old as mammoth DNA in Siberia that help provides record and reveals that high arctic was a much warmer greener place greener than many place on earth are today iska matlab earth already received seven times of glaciation and seven time of interglacial present part is also interglacial last ice age was pleistocene so pleistocene ke baad this is a period of interglacial which highlighted कि पास्ट में सो मेनी प्लेसेस ऑन टेम्परेट एंड दट इज अर बाय पोलर रीजन वॉज ऑल्सो ग्रीन देन असोला भाटी सेंचुरी दिस सेंचुरी इज ऑलवेज देयर इन द न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ दिल्ली एंड सराउंडिंग पॉल्यूशन एरिया एंड दिस इज अंचुरी और वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी विच इज दट इज अर टू हरिद्रेट फरीदाबाद एंड गुरुग्राम क्लियर इको सेंसिटिव जोन ऑफ अरावली नाम है असोला भाटी सेंचुरी तो इसको आप याद रखेंगे Then Oran land, Oran land की बात करते हैं ये आ सकता है पीटी में रेजिडेंट फ्रॉम अराउंड फोर्टी विलेजेस ऑफ जैसलमेर राजस्थान है कॉम्युनिटी कंजर्व सैक्रेड स्पेसिस नॉन एज ओरन तो एक तो हमारा होता है सैक्रेड ग्रूव द सैक्रेड ग्रूव आर राइट नो मैक्सिम इन हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड त्रिपुरा सिक्किम केरला 
इन केरला इन द सेक्रेट ग्रुप दे आर प्रैक्टिसिंग द डांस बाय द नेम ऑफ थैयम आपने सुना होगा नाउ इन द सेम मैनर सम ऑफ द सैक्रेट स्पेसिस ऑफ द लैंड विच इज लोकली प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द पीपल इज नोन एज ओरेंस ओ आर ए एन एस पी टी में आ जाएगा तो दीज ऑल आर नोन एज ओरेंस अगर आपको बताओगे इन राजस्थान देर इज अ कॉम्युनिटी बाय द नेम ऑफ बिश्नोई हु आर हैविंग द 21 रूल्स फॉर व्हिच दे आर कंजर्विंग द फॉरेस्ट तो व्हेन एवर फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन आंसर इज कमिंग इन द मेंस यू पीपल कैन टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ चिपको मूवमेंट है ना चंडी प्रसाद एज वेल एज देयर इज अ गोरा देवी एंड सेकंड इज बिश्नोई कम्युनिटी ब्लैक बक दे आर कंजर्विंग सलमान खान केस मे बी ऑल ऑफ यू आर नोइंग है ना भाई so please remember this thing oran is a sacred species oran are among the last natural habitat of the great indian bustard and great indian bustard is a critically endangered bird it is a flying bird similar to the howbara bustard of pakistan and lesser florigen they are declining in number because they live in grassland grassland are not covered under the forest conservation act even the रिवनेबल एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट दिस बर्ड इज हैविंग लो आई साइड ये लोग कम देख पाते हैं तो दिस बर्ड वेन दे फ्लाइंग दे कैप्चर्ड इन टू दिन टर्बाइन विंड ब्लेड एंड ऑल दिस थिंग रिजल्टिंग इन टू डेथ इट इज अ स्टेट बर्ड ऑफ राजस्थान वाइल्ड ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इन महाराष्ट्र बट दे आर लिविंग टिल कर्नाटका तेलंगाना एंड आंध्र प्रदेश शायद आप सब लोग को मजा आ रहा होगा सीख रहे होंगे ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर द बर्ड ऑफ द ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड currently the biodiversity hotspot are classified as wasteland there are other orens like mokal salkaha kamedi which also spread across several hectares but are listed as wasteland these orens are hotspot of biodiversity with trees and flowers like rohida bordi kumbhat desi babul all these are desert vegetation mai fir se bol raha rohida bordi kumbhat desi babul all these are the species of deserts then pathogen frozen in permafrost resurgent at the herb items hum sab ko pata hai recently in greenland oldest dna permafrost is thawing thawing matlab they are melting which can cause a release of methane carbon dioxide and now they are also releasing some of the dangerous pathogen which can provide new type of diseases or be acting as a harmful for our flora and fauna तो उसी के ऊपर है दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस जो यूपीएससी पीटी में पूछ सकता है सो नाउ वी आर ओनली हैविंग अराउंड 50 डेज लेफ्ट एंड आई वांट दैट यू पीपल कैन कंसंट्रेट हार्ड ऑन दिस लेक्चर केयरफुली अ न्यू स्टडी फाइंड दैट वार्मिंग प्लैनेट इज रिजल्टिंग इन द लॉस ऑफ द अर्थ क्रायोस्फीयर एंड दिस कुड बी रिसर्जेंट दैट इज अ रिसरेक्टिंग थैप पैथोजन गिविंग राइज टू पोटेंशियल पब्लिक हेल्थ थ्रेट The 300-year-old frozen mummy from Siberia was found to contain the variola virus. We did examination, which is causing the smallpox. Yeah, that is the variola virus. <clears throat> Then this is our small. That is the voucher where we are providing all the important batches taken by me individually to help the students. Now, Great Barrier Reef frozen for trial. Great Barrier Reef is in Australia. It is the world's largest barrier reef. Recently, we provided the. a uh, transplantation to revive the corals within the australia so in the latest lab trial the world first with great barrier reef coral scientists used the cryo mesh to freeze the coral lava kal bhi humne term padha tha cryo mesh so cryo mesh is a new technology by which we are conserving the eggs and the larva of those species which are little bit endangered cryogenically frozen coral reefs can be stored and later reintroduced to the wild to protect them against the rising ocean temperature so this is a new method ki there is a time of 20 30 years of climate crisis after that we reintroduce and we can again make survive all these coral reefs and larva kitna acha method hai coral mesh so ye aap yaad rakhenge coral mesh then international cheetah day december 4 so hum sabko pata hai that before few months Indra, that the India, with the help of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, took the cheetahs from Namibia. Cheetah is a species of grassland. They need very wide area because every day they want to run. If they are not running, they will die. Therefore, we cannot capture the cheetah for long in the zoo. We need a very wide or very big enclosure. In India, the same Namibia type of condition is available in Puno Palanpur Wildlife Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh. now from nearby area chambal river is flowing under this we introduced the cheetah and recently the new cubs arrived first time in india when it got extinct during that is a 90s 
So now cheetah is of two types. One is in Iran, very few in number, critically endangered. And second is in Africa, Namibia to Kenya, Tanzania. The old savanna grassland, cheetah habitation. The Iranian cheetah is light in color and small in size. African cheetah is dark in color and big in size. This much they can ask and they are also coming under the category of that is a uh, cat. Or hamare kuch neta bolte dharta nahi hai. Jabki only few cats are uh, that is a roaring. Other cats are just doing meow. So we should not take the fun. We should first have the knowledge because you are the role models. So here we are providing all the things about the cheetah in a good manner. Jo -jo aapko bata hai. And here in this diagram also we are providing you the cheetah, leopard and jaguar. So cheetah is small size, leopard thoda bada with a small small black part and in the jaguar the spots are further big. So this is a major difference of black spot between the cheetah, leopard and uh, jaguar. Or recently we have that leopard in India is also affected by the uh, distemper virus which is affecting the dogs, then affected the lion and now they are affecting the leopard which is impacting on their brain and now they are entered into human habitation. Cheetah is vulnerable, African cheetah and Asian cheetah critically endangered, leopard vulnerable and jaguar is threatened. So, you have to remember that jaguar is a species which are available in South America and it is threatened. Now, three Himalayan medicinal plants entered into IUCN red list, very important. Mesotropis patella, critically endangered, known as patawa. It is a perennial shrub in Uttarakhand, antioxidant, essential oil. You have to remember mesotropi, tropis. Pelita, then Tritiolora kirosis and Dietrolorisa hetera. So one is in Uttarakhand, second is in China, vulnerable, third is in endangered Hindu Kush mountain, Himalayan ranges of Afghanistan, Nepal, Pakistan. It also important for fever. Then cactus plantation. We all are knowing cactus is a species of desert, zero phytic vegetation. The government is promoting cactus plantation and its economic uses. Very important for this year. They are having the long root system. It is a zero phytic plant which grow at the slower pace and is adopted to grow in arid and semi-arid. It will help in storing the degraded land. I have told you about CCD. So India is guided by Delhi Declaration to control the problem of desertification and we can control it when we are cultivating the cactus. Cactus can be used as biofuel. Cactus se biofuel nikala ja sakta hai. It is a food for so many animals, fodder. And in biofertilizer production also, so we can use the cactus in the biofertilizer. Even some of the cactus species is providing the fruit like dragon fruit. So dragon fruit is also cultivating in semi-arid and desert area. Even they can provide the employment. 30% of India's land is categorized as degraded land. And it is a part of Pradhan Mantri Kishi Sichai Yojana. Bhoat achha news hai cactus. Then India's disappearing donkeys. So, you think it's a gadha, hai, to mil jata hoga, but no, gadha, donkey is also disappearing. This is a brother, wild ass. Gujarat and Rajasthan, which they khur bolte. their population is also de uh, declining, even they don't have any predator. So, a fall in the demand of a beast of burden and illegal meat and skin trade have caused a critical decline in the donkey number. Now, they are coming under threatened. In traditional Chinese medicine, boiling donkey skin produces gelatin called Iziao, which can be consumed or mixed with cosmetic product to treat conditions such as insomnia, dry cough, and poor blood circulation. So, these China people eat every animal for different type of purpose. Then there are different type of breed of donkeys, which is very important. Kachachi, Gujarat. Alari, Gujarat. Sindhi, Jaisalmer. Spiti, it is in Himachal Pradesh. Then Orcas, two cities in the United States formally declared their support for legal right for a group of endangered Orcas. They are tooth whales. So they are whales hai jinke daat hai, varna bleeds hote hai. Jisme wo phytoplankton, zooplankton phat jate hai, which they consume. But these are the tooth whales by the name of Orcas. Generally found in temperate tropical waters. They have long lifespan and highly social. Orcas are found across the world and are known as killer whales. So, orcas ko hi hum killer whales bolte hain. Technically, killer whales are the largest member of dolphin family. IUCN data insufficient. Now, this is Aspire Best Program Newspaper Analysis. This program was highly famous and the people are doing this program because through this we are covering 70% of GS. Aapko a surprise lagega. But if you watch this link, five lectures are free and you will identify 
what exactly current affairs are and how to prepare in a systematic manner with the help of seven folders. So please watch it and enjoy the power of knowledge. IOCN updated red list of threatened species. So now IOCN ka aur padenge under the COP15 Canada Montreal. Iske andar humne kuch chiz pehle padhi chuke hain white chick dancing frog andaman smooth that's a hound shark yellow himalayan that's a uh, fertile lari yaad aa raha hoga aapko to usi ka part de rakha hai we already learned this thing so repeat ho gaya hai we can not read further then secret behind long life span of banyan and people tree hindu dharm mein banyan aur people tree ko mana jata hai they are providing 24 hour oxygen that's why we are cultivating the people tree in our temples तो रिसर्चर ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च भोपाल तो ये पीटी के लिए याद रखिएगा आप लोग दैट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च इज इन भोपाल हैव कैरीड आउट होल जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग ऑफ बनियान एंड पीपल ट्री द वर्क हेल्प इन आइडेंटिफाइंग 17 जीन्स इन द केस ऑफ बनियान एंड 19 जीन्स इन द केस ऑफ पीपल हु आर हैविंग द एडेप्टिव दैट इज द ओवरऑल इवोल्यूशन एंड देयर लाइफ इज 200 टू 500 इयर्स then mammalia evolution so mammal are of various type in australia the same mammals are known as marsupials jinka worm bhar hota hai kangaroo walbaya platypus all are marsupial and marsupials are only within the australia worm outside the body as per the study mammals may have evolved in gondwana the southern landmass formed from the supercontinent pangaea millions of years rather than its southern counterpart laurasia Mammals are warm-blooded animals with hairs and vertebrates consisting of three groups. Number one, monthermis. So, you will see here that the first part is monthermis. So, all the part, porcupine, these are all the monthermis. They are primitive mammals that have uh, lay large eggs and have a common opening for the urogenital and digestive system. So, monothermis is an example. Those mammals which are laying the egg below platypus, ant eater, these are all the categories. देन मार्सुपियल जिनका वॉर्म पाउच होता है बाहर की तरफ बैली की तरफ इसके अंदर सब आते हैं दैट इज अ मार्सुपियल्स आर वॉल बाय कंगारू है ना कोला बियर वॉम बैट ऑल दिस आर कमिंग अंडर मार्सुपियल्स देन पैलेसेंटल्स ये भी आ जाएंगे कैरी द फिटस अंटिल अ लेट स्टेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट तो लेट स्टेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट था कि फिटस अपने साथ कैरी करते हैं इसके अंदर बहुत सारे लोग आते हैं रोडेंट्स बैट्स कार्निवोर्स प्राइमेट्स हुफ्ड फीट ऑल दिस आर कमिंग अंडर दिस कैटेगरी then uh, uh, hippopotamus we all are knowing daryai ghoda so hippopotamus deepening restriction on elephant ivory traffic have led to an increased trade of hippopotamus teeth kyunki uske daant bhi bahut bade bade hote hain so hippos are mainly in africa in the nile river valley but they are also available in india there are two type of hippos common hippo and pygmy hippo chhota aur bahut bada the common hippo classified as vulnerable to extinction on the iucn 2016 The part and products of estimated 3909 hippo were legally traded. Three quarter of them originated in Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. India does not have any hippo outside of zoo or similar confined areas. So, Bharat me, jitte bhi hippo hai, they are coming from Africa. They are only in the zoo. They are not outside the zoo. Hippo body part are still traded and they are uh, restricted under sites uh, appendix two. Length hota hai, hathi ke daat ka two meter. Iska hota fifty centimeter. One feet. That is a six inch low canine tooth. So, tell me, animals' teeth are getting knocked out. We are getting killed. Then, lion at the rate of forty-seven. In India, the lion adopt is Gujarat gir forest. So, now we have taken its wizard, known as Amrut Kal. Lion project lion documented title lion at the rate of forty-seven has been prepared by Ministry of Environment and it is implemented in the gir landscape. Abhi thodi der pehle bataya tha that this lion is also affected by canine distemper virus. Objective care to secure and install lion that is a habitat for managing its growing population, scale up live like livelihood generation and participation of local communities to make India global hub of knowledge on the big cat disease diagnostic and treatment. Antarctica emperor penguins. So there are so many penguins available from Argentina, Chile, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. The most famous is emperor. Penguins. India ke andar only one zoo is having the penguins. That is Mumbai Zoo. So Mumbai Zoo also took the penguins from the Antarctica. The emperor penguin, which 
relies on ice for breeding is the most vulnerable of antarctica species according to the recent study greater efforts are needed to conserve antarctic ecosystem and population of up to 97% of land based antarctica species may decline by 2100 if the negative consequences of climate change are not addressed तो हमारे आर्टिक में मिलता है पोलर बियर और एंटार्टिका में मिलता है पैंग्विन एंड दे आर कमिंग अंडर दैट इज अ नियर थ्रेटन स्पीशीज देन पोलर बियर्स वेस्टर्न हटसन बे हटसन बे इज नियर टू कैनेडा रीजन इंक्लूड चर्चिल द टाउन इज नोन एज पोलर बियर कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पीटी एग्जामिनेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोलर बियर कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड चर्चिल हटसन बे पोलर बियर आर हाइपर कार्डनी वोरस सेवेंटी परसेंट मीट डाइट स्पीशीज हुज नेटिव राइज मेल इन द आर्टिक सर्कल and they are going to hibernation so their food is also declining their major food is harbor seal and they are vulnerable then project nilgiri thar india first nilgiri thar project as a state animal of tamil nadu is taken by tamil nadu itself under the shola grassland and the upper bhavani river so yaad rakhiyega nilgiri thar ek bakri ki tarah hai 12 species present in india project nilgiri thar india first in the shola grassland हार पॉपुलेशन को बढ़ाने के लिए इट इज एंडेमिक एंड वनरेबल टू इंडिया एंडेमिक एंड वनरेबल और अभी इसका स्टेटस जो है नोन एज दैट एंडेंजर्ड हो गया है तो दे आर नॉट वनरेबल दे आर नाउ एंडेंजर्ड तो इसको वेरी नाडु भी बोलते हैं एंड हैबिटेट लॉज इज अ मेजर रीजन बिहाइंड देयर एंडेंजर्ड शोला फॉरेस्ट ऑलरेडी बता चुका हूँ ट्रॉपिकल माउंटेन फॉरेस्ट फाउंड इन अपर रीजेज ऑफ इंडियन वेस्टर्न घाट केरला तमिलनाडु कर्नाटका तीन स्टेट में मिलते हैं उथकेशन which makes all the needy student entered into the aspire classes we are never taking the big big classes we always believe in few people few students and their growth this youtube venture is only mainly only for one important thing ki those who really want to get some quality stuff with interlinkages and good amount of information they can watch it enjoy it use it and qualify this examination as soon as possible thank you so much jai hind jai bharat टुडे इज हनुमान जयंती लॉर्ड हनुमान ब्लेस यू जय श्री राम थैंक यू